Hello children. Just like we have a lifestyle, animals also have a lifestyle. Today we will learn about varying lifestyles in animals. Like us, animals also adapt to their surroundings by adjusting their habits. The living and dwelling place of an animal is known as its habitat. All animals have some special features which help them to live in their particular habitats. These features are known as adaptations. All animals need food to grow, to do work and to perform various life processes. Different animals eat different types of food according to its availability and their adaptations to obtain it. Animals which feed only on plants and their parts are called herbivores. For example, cow, giraffe, elephant, etc. The animals which feed on the flesh of other animals are called carnivores. For example, tiger, eagle, fox, lion, etc. The animals which feed on both plants as well as flesh of animals are called omnivores. For example, bear, crow, etc. Herbivores have sharp and strong front teeth for cutting and biting food and broad back teeth for chewing them which help them in cutting green plants. Herbivores like giraffe also have hard hooves, which helps him to walk far on uneven land surface for food. Rodents such as rabbits, mice and squirrels also have small and sharp front teeth. They gnaw seeds and fruits. Carnivores such as lion, tiger and cat have very sharp, pointed and curved front teeth for tearing flesh. They also have strong grinding teeth to chew the flesh and bones. Fish and some aquatic mammals, which are carnivores, have strong jaws and sharp teeth. Some birds, such as flamingos, cranes and storks, feed on fish. They have a long neck and a long beak to catch fish. They have long legs to move in muddy water easily. Penguins swim very swiftly in water to catch fish. Other flesh-eating birds such as eagle, kites and vultures have strong, sharp and hooked beaks and claws to catch their prey and tear their flesh. They have very sharp eyesight to detect their prey located at large distance too. Insects have special feeding body parts. For example, mosquitoes have needle-like mouth which helps them to suck blood through the skin. Similarly, butterflies can suck nectar through a coiled tube-like mouth known as proboscis. Animals need oxygen to breathe and to burn the food for getting energy. This energy is used by animals to do different functions. This process is called respiration. Land animals breathe oxygen present in air for respiration. Aquatic animals utilize oxygen dissolved in water to carry out respiration. Carbon dioxide is released during this process, which is breathed out of the body by the animals. Fish have gills to breathe. Large animals like whales and dolphins have lungs. They have to come to the surface to inhale air. They also exhale this air through nostrils called blowholes located on the top of their head. Small animals like insects have spiracles on their body, which allow them to breathe. Earthworms live underground and breathe through their moist skin. Frogs breathe air through their lungs. Their moist skin can also absorb oxygen from water when they are in water. Amazing fact! On the seabed, sea anemone is found, which is a living creature and looks like a flowering plant growing out of the sand. But if a fish swims by or touches the flower's petals, the fish gets caught and little mouth opens up and draws the fish in. Animals move from one place to another to find shelter in such a food and breathing place to protect themselves from enemies. Different animals move in different ways. Some animals move slowly, while some move fast. Most of the animals have four limbs to move. The two front limbs are called fore limbs, and the two back limbs are called hind limbs. Camels, goats, horses, lions, 
tigers use their four limbs for walking and running. Animals like kangaroo and rabbit have strong hind limbs, which are longer than four limbs. These animals hop with the help of hind limbs. Human beings walk or run with the help of hind limbs. They use their four limbs for holding the things and doing many other works. Reptiles are crawling creatures. There are two types of reptiles named as limbed reptiles like lizard and limbless reptiles like snakes. Snakes have scales on the lower surfaces of the body which are attached to their muscles and ribs. So, they move with the help of these scales. All insects such as cockroaches and ants have six legs. They move on the ground with the help of legs. Grasshoppers have long and strong hind legs with the help of which they hop. Do you know the largest and heaviest mammal on the earth is blue whale. Some insects like mosquitoes, house flies, bees and butterflies can fly. They have wings which are different from the wings of birds. The wings of insects are delicate, thin and made up of scales. In contrast to this, the wings of birds have feathers, bones and strong muscles. Aquatic animals use different organs to swim in water. Most of aquatic animals have streamlined body, which helps them to move easily and quickly in water. Fishes have three types of fins, which they use to balance and change the direction while swimming in water. Turtles, seals and penguins have pedal-like limbs, called flippers. They use flippers to push water and swim. Jellyfish and octopus have tentacles and starfish move through tube feet. Frogs have webbed feet, which they use to pick the water while swimming. They also have long limbs to jump on land. Aquatic birds like duck also have webbed feet to swim in water. Birds fly with the help of wings, which are modified four limbs. Their tail helps in changing the direction while flying. On the land, birds move with their hind limbs. The movement of large groups of animals from one place to another at a particular time is known as migration. They migrate to avoid some unfavorable conditions or in search of food or to have safe place for breeding. Many birds, fish, some insects and few mammals migrate and when the conditions become favorable, they return to their original place. An interesting example of migration is the Arctic tern, a migratory bird which travels from Arctic, North Pole region to Antarctic, South Pole region, covering a distance of 1,75,000 km in a period of half a year and travels back again in the other half of the year. Some other migratory animals are Siberian crane also migrates in search of food which it finds in the warm regions like India. Eel is a snake-like fish which spends its life in fresh water. On attaining maturity, the eels migrate long distances to spawn in the sea. Adults die after spawning. When eggs hatch, the larvae come out which drift back into the river. Monarch butterfly migrates from Canada to Mexico. Elephants also migrate in groups, herds in search of food. Let us summarize. The living and dwelling place of an animal is called its habitat. Organisms adapt to their surroundings by adjusting their habits known as adaptation. Animals have different types of feeding habits. Different animals breathe through different types of organs like lungs, gills, moist skin, spiracles or even by body surface. Animals use their legs, fins and wings to move. Animals that move from one place to another in search of food and also safe place for breeding are known as migratory animals.